Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. I'm coming to you from amazing Amsterdam, hence, yay, another hotel room. <laughs> Today I'm going to share with you a tip that has to do with named views. All right, so named views have been in AutoCAD since it feels like the beginning of AutoCAD time. And AutoCAD gurus know all about how powerful named views can actually be. They have some really cool top secret things built into named views that are very, very cool. I'm going to share them with you, all right, because that's the kind of person that I am. So we're going to start off, though, by just showing you how to create a named view. What the heck is a named view? Lynn, it allows you to go from one portion of your drawing to another very, very quickly. Instead of zooming in and zooming out, zooming in, zooming out, you can just go straight from A to B. All right, so how do we create a named view? Well, first off, you're going to go to the View tab on your ribbon. And you're going to find the Named Views panel. All right, it might be over here, depending on what release you're on. And then you're going to go to the View Manager. Also, if you're inside of AutoCAD 2018 or before, you're going to go to the View Manager. Or you can just type in View if you take a look at the command line, whichever you prefer. And we're going to keep this super simple, all right? I'm going to make a new view. So I'm going to click on New. And very simple, what do you want the view name to be? I'm going to create one called Spiral staircase all right i said we're going to keep it simple if you want to be super organized and make a whole bunch of views and you know who you are organized ones you can put it in a category um we're going to keep it simple i don't have a category that means you probably have a really organized closet as well there's a bunch of view types like a recorded walk or cinematic no, this is a plain old still view very very simple like i said and I'm going to define a window for my spiral staircase. Okay, there's the spiral staircase. I'm just going to put a little window around that. If you take a look at the bottom of the screen, it says press enter to accept. If you're happy, hit an enter. And there we go. I'm going to hit an OK. Very simple, very straightforward. Now, if you take a look over here underneath model views, here are the, the named views I've created. There's my spiral staircase. And you can see I was very busy. There's a pool, there's a patio pool, blah, 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 blah. All right, I'm going to hit an OK to get out. Well, Lynn, how do I get to my named views now that I've created them? Well, there's a couple of different ways. You can go to your in canvas viewport control. These guys are over here. Go to the middle one and you'll see that there's an option for model views. OK, it would be nice if it said named view. So we were consistent, but that's OK. <laughs> Let's go over here. Click on house. That's the named view for my house. Another click. And I can go take a look at Let's look at my spiral staircase. There it is. That's one way to go from one named view to another. If you're on AutoCAD 2019, there's a really nice drop down list right here. You can click on that. You can go to one named view to another. There's go to a view called project data. Here's one for the pool. Who doesn't want to go to a pool? It's pretty hot here. I wouldn't mind going to the pool. <laughs> That's another way of doing it. I would have loved it if I could have done a right click on here and put that on the quick access toolbar. Bar. Boy, that would have made me really happy, but they didn't write it that way. Darn it. <laughs> anyway, That's another way. What's another way of doing it, Lynn? Well, I'll show you. You can also go back to that view manager and you can select any one of these that you want to and you can set it current. That's another way of doing it. That's a lot of clicks. All right. I'm all about saving clicks, but that's another way of doing it. That's too many clicks for me, but you can also go about doing it that way. By far, if you're inside of AutoCAD 2019, the one that has the least amount of clicks is by using this drop down list. All right. But that's whatever works for you. All right. You get paid by the hour. Do it the long way by going into the view manager. Also, if you're inside of AutoCAD 2019, you can go straight to new view whenever you want to create a new named view. You don't have to go into the view manager and click on new. You can just go straight there by clicking on new view. I like that. Less clicks. Once again, I'm all about saving the clicks. All right. So all I did today was show you how to create named views and how to go from one named view to another. All right, but there's a lot more to named views than that. And I'm going to show that to you in the next tip. I'm going to show you the real power of named views in the next tip. Oh, my gosh. You're going to be on the edge of your seat yet again. I hope you can make it for two more weeks because that's what next time I'm going to see you. <laughs> so have a great rest of the week. And, um, hey, peace out because I am in Amsterdam. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>